Washington County Animal Shelter has 35 new animals in custody that police say were severely, severely neglected. This is horrible. Five News reporter Kayla Davis spoke with Washington County investigators about this case, and we're learning more about how those animals are doing. Kayla. Yeah, you guys, officials tell me all 34 cats and one Yorkshire Terrier are all in pretty bad condition. They're actually being quarantined to keep any diseases from spreading throughout the shelter. I've been told all the animals were malnourished, 18 of the cats have upper respiratory infections, and two have FIV, a feline version of HIV. It's always horrifying when you find animals in this state. Um, this is an unusual, thankfully, this is an unusual case for Washington County. Uh, our director, Tammy Harp of our animal shelter, said that the last one of these cases was with dogs and probably seven years ago. According to the Washington County Sheriff's Office, the previous owner of 35 seized animals, Ruth Francis, lived with all of them in a rural home on the southeast side of Fayetteville. They say Francis would regularly take them to get treatments from a local vet. But when she passed away last October, those visits stopped. That's when the vet contacted the sheriff's office out of concern for their welfare. The suspect allegedly abusing the animals was living in Francis's home with the animals when Washington County Animal Control visited the home on Wednesday. They discovered that most of the cats were sick, uh, some of them pretty severely sick. Tad Sowers with Washington County says they found many cats skinny and malnourished despite multiple cases of cat food stocked in the shed. Investigators say there was no visible food or water for the pets, but a significant amount of feces on the floor. They also found a dog with an injury to its front leg and large patches of hairless, irritated skin. When officials arrived again on Thursday with a search warrant, they reported seeing multiple bowls of water around the house along with uncooked meat and other spoiled food. Animal control officials were able to take all 35 animals into their custody at that point. They're receiving round-the-clock care. Um, they're going to be held here for 15 days to give um, the woman time to appeal. Um, if she does appeal, then they will be held here as evidence until her trial, which could be weeks, if not months. Absolutely horrible. The suspect is charged with 18 counts of felony aggravated cruelty, one count for each cat with an upper respiratory infection or FIV. She's also facing 17 counts of misdemeanor offense of cruelty to animals for failing to provide the remaining 17 with adequate food and water. Covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News.